heads, welcome back to Crusty Cranks. All right, um, this is number four of the Deep Diver series I'm doing from a customer, and uh, this one is, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna use three different shades of purple, and um, then we're gonna add some gold on there. It's gonna make it pop. So, um, the first color we're gonna use is Color Shift um, by, I guess it's Folk Art, and um, this is a really cool color. Um, I'm going to add that on the base first and then we're going to go to some fluorescent violet and then we're going to come on top with some pearl plum so I'm gradually going to hit different um, shades of purple and then we're going to do a little uh, little sisal wrap on there and with some gold and then we're going to put our new stencil on so I got a new design that we worked on me and my customer designed it's a bunch of stencils and um, as soon as I get the, this bait painted, I will put that up on the lorestencils.com site so you can take a grab at it if you want one. And uh, just appreciate everybody that's been buying the stencils. It's been pretty cool. Been really busy cutting out stencils. It's crazy. Um, but I hope you guys are using them okay. And if you got any problems, you can definitely email me or message me. And uh, if you order stencils, you got a phone number business card in there you can always give me a call if you have any problems with them so but i hope everybody's uh, enjoying them that's bought them and uh i'm gonna keep adding i got tons of baits um i just actually let me scan the camera over here and i just put up a new little uh thing from harbor freight here and actually i'm gonna have to get another one because i got too many baits but i just stocked up on all my baits sizes and patterns um, styles body styles so I'll be gradually getting all them up on the website with the stencils um, so bear with me on that I'm gradually adding them up there as I use them and uh, got a bunch of baits to paint got to get ready for the spring vendor season so um, let's get started painting this one all right I'm gonna thin this down a little bit um, and I'm going to use some reducer I like to use reducer you can use water with this um, but I like to use reducer I just think it, it, it just helps it spray better so um, let me get this ready and I'll bring you back and we'll spray this on I'll show you what it looks like okay so um, when I thin these folk art paints out I'll kind of see if I can get it in the camera for you I like to get it really thin especially these color shifts um, it just sprays better and uh, I'm using the 3.5 needle in my Iwata but uh, I just like to get it really thin it just creates a little less headaches for you on tip dry and clogging up um, which is another reason why I use reducer I've just found that reducer it doesn't tip dry as bad so um, so let's spray this uh, on here I'm gonna go pretty much all the way down the body that's why I didn't put pearl on it I knew normally I would put pearl on these first but this kind of gives it a good little pearl effect anyway the other thing is is if it's too thick it's gonna splatter on you I'm also doing them on uh, a 110 and uh, uh, a regular 5 inch jerk bait, but I'll show you those at the end. I'm not going to make you watch me paint all of them. It is a little, with that flake in there, whoops, sorry. With that flake in there, it kind of almost looks like it's splattering, but it's not. It's just the way that effect with that special effects. And there it is. So. I'm going to kind of keep it a little light on top because I'm going to put the gold down and before I put the other purples down. And you'll see. So I don't know if you can see that on camera or not how it shifts 
and we might even darken the face up a little more. But we're gonna hit it with a, a darker purple anyway. All right, so let me get this, uh, get the other two painted, get this cleaned out, and uh, I'll bring you back for the next color. Okay, next we're going to go with the uh, pearlized satin gold. And um, I'm going to go down the back and get a real nice deep gold on the back. And you'll see why here in a minute. Go just a little bit over the shoulders. That's it. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and I'll uh, bring you back for the next stage. Okay, got my bait all wrapped up here. Now what I'm using is, and if you guys have watched my videos, other videos, especially the crawl videos, um, the crawl body videos, this is called Sissel Wrap. I get it on Amazon. I got a whole freaking roll of it. It'll last me forever for like 10 or 12 bucks, I think it was. Um, it's S-I-S-A-L. Just look it up on Amazon. You'll find it. Or I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, but this stuff, now, it's you can use a couple different ways. For one, um, you can just use it straight and get that kind of a pattern. But it's kind of thin, so sometimes it'll blow under if you don't get it too tight. If you don't get it tight enough, actually. So I like to always double it over. It gives you a little bit more of an effect if you double it over. And the other thing I like to do, if you really want to get it so it really stands out really well, is to, after you've sprayed it a few times, keep using that piece over and over. And as you do, it gets thicker. So it gives you a little bit wider effect, a little thicker effect uh, as the paint builds up on there. So um, I've got some that's got freaking 10 layers of paint on it. And um, each time it just gives a little different effect. So that's what this is. And we're going to put that on there because we want our gold to show through this little uh, pattern here. And I'm, right now I'm going to put in the uh, fluorescent violet. And we're going to go fluorescent on the top and down the sides a little bit. But I don't want to cover up completely on my color shift. So... And we're going to come back with one more darker purple on the top. And I don't want to spray it this color too heavy because I don't want it to really leak into under my paint. I want to be able to see three different variations of purple and still keep that shift. So that's all I'm going to do with that. I always say that and then I have to hit it a few more times. And don't worry about the face too much because you're going to, I'm going to come back over that a little bit with a little darker. And then you're really probably not going to see a lot of the effect until, until we get, get the UV on there. But... Yeah, so I'm going to leave that on there, and I'm going to clean up, uh, just get the paint out of my brush, dump the purple in there, pearlized purple, and we'll uh, get the next colors on there. Okay, we've got our pearl plum in here, and we're just going to go right down the back. We're going to stay right on top.
I want to get that real nice deep purple on the top. But I don't want to blow out my gold either. So don't want to get it too heavy where it's running under the under the wrap. Alright, I think that's gonna do it. And then we'll probably touch up the face a little bit once we peel that off. But I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. If I peel it off right now, then if it's still wet under there a little bit, it's going to kind of mess up my pattern. So I'm not going to uh, air dry it either with the hair dryer because uh, that'll make it stick. So I'm just going to let it dry and then I'll bring you back and we'll peel it off and take a look. Okay, let's see what she looked like. Our gold show, shows through pretty good. Oh, wow. That's going to really look good when I get the stencil on there, too. I don't know if you can see that. Get to focus a little better. And we got our shades. And the, the fluorescent violet into the blue color shift. And then the gold. And now we're going to put our stencil on there. So let me get the stencil lined up and I'll bring you back and we'll put the stencil on. Okay, I did want to touch up the eye a little bit and on the face before I put the stencil on. Just going to darken that eye up a little bit. And right on the tip of the nose. stencil on okay guys we're back we got the stencil on there I'm struggling with uh, what color I wanted to use on the stencil um, and I wanted to originally go with gold but I think it's just not gonna it's just gonna kind of get lost in there so I did another 110 or actually it's not a 110 it's a five mil five inch and tried some orange on this one and I mean it looks all right it's just not I don't know and then I did the other 110 and I think I like that and I'm just gonna leave it like that on that one it just looks much better I think um, so I'm gonna leave that one but I'm going to try some black on here. So we're going with black. And, uh, you know, if my customer don't like it, well, we'll repaint it white and do it again. But let's see what the black looks like and see if, see if the black don't stand out a little more. I mean, black always going to stand out on a light color anyway, but... This was his stencil. He liked this stencil. So I want to use it. And I just didn't think the gold was going to stand out enough on it. So we're going we're going with black. dry that a little bit just a little bit and we'll peel it off and see what it looks like all right let's peel it off see what it looks like I mean when you're building building patterns and colors 
Sometimes you don't hit a home run all the time, and that's part of it. But I think Black's going to be all right. Black might get lost in there, too. I don't know. Let me put this back down for a minute and peel from this end. Like I said, if you don't like it, we can always paint it white and start over again. And it's really a lot of times it's hard to tell till you get the... Oh, I don't know. That don't look too bad. Let's put the other side on it. And... We'll get some eyes and epoxy on it and see what it looks like. All right, got the other stencil on here. Let's get this black side painted here. Glad I went with the black. I think now I like the black better. Like I said, I was gonna go with the gold, but I, did, I just thought it would get lost. And I think this just kind of overprints the gray, uh, the purples a little better. So, like I said, sometimes you just gotta experiment with stuff, and sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't. See what this side looks like. Cool. Almost gives it that crawl look on the top because this stencil almost meets. back down so I can use it again it's really gonna pop once we get that once we get the epoxy on there all right let's get some eyes on it and we'll uh, epoxy her up Okay, let's get some eyes on this guy. I think we're going with these gold eyes right here. Yellow, black. Kind of a goldish color. I think that'll help bring out the gold. A little damn lock tie on there. Stick these on and we'll get some epoxy on it. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks good. Once we get the epoxy on. We'll see all these colors pop. Glad I didn't go with the gold on the stencil. Looks good. All right, get some epoxy on this guy. I'll bring you back and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, guys, here's the finished lures. But first, I wanted to give a little shout out to. Uh, some of my supporters that are on the board there. 
Um, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know I like to do lore trades with uh, with my subscribers. And um, if you want to do a lore trade, just message me, and we'll get uh, we'll exchange addresses, and I'll send you one of my lures, and you send me one of yours. And um, I've got a big net hanging on the wall over there, and I got plenty of room for more for more lures. I don't fish with your lures. I hang them up on my net with my subscribers, and I've had a bunch of people come to the house because we have a weekly, or sorry, a monthly poker game, and uh, everybody's always looking at your guys' lures, and they love them, and they think it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, send me a lure and a sticker if you got a sticker. Um, so I want to shout out to, he's actually been a long time subscriber since I first started, um, Connecticut Custom Lures. Got his sticker. He didn't have stickers at the time. We did a lure trade way back. I think he was one of my first lure trades I did, actually. And um, he's got his stickers. He's got a cool looking logo there. And um, yeah, so I just got his sticker and got him up on the board there. So uh, thanks, Len. I appreciate your support. And I got Northwind Bates. Um, they follow me on Instagram. Not sure if she watches my YouTube channel. I think she does. I think she said she watches it. Um, but she did a lure trade with me, and then I don't know if I ever mentioned Mr. Charlie, Charlie Carter, Carter's Custom Lures, he's, he's on there too, so, and of course Ugly Dog, he was one of my first lure trades too, and helped me get started with the YouTube, so appreciate all you guys, appreciate all your support, I've got some more trades I've done, I just didn't, they didn't have stickers, um, so, yeah, if you want to do a lure trade, hit me up, I'll put you on my board, and, uh, We'll get you get you a little little recognition on there, and I just enjoy seeing your guys' work. Um, you guys see mine all the time, so um, you know if there's a particular lure you want me to paint for you, I'll do that. Or if you just want want me to surprise you and send you one, I can do that too. But yeah, I love doing lure trades. I love meeting and interacting with you guys. I've met so many great people here on YouTube. It's just so cool. And um, we're doing the stencil workshops. If you haven't done a stencil workshop, I would suggest, you know, yeah, it's a little expensive getting started with the cricket and everything, but I'm telling you, I can help you take your lure stencils to a, to another level. Um, I know there's a few other guys on here doing, doing a couple cricket stencils, but uh, I can show you a lot of tricks that'll save you time, materials, and... Um, you know, so think about doing a workshop. I'd love to meet you and work with you on your work on the workshop. Um, but yeah, let's wrap this bait up. This is the fourth one I've done for my customer. We're slowly busting him out, and uh, he's in, he says he's in no hurry. He likes coming over here and and watching me paint them and um, seeing the work after they're done. Um, so yeah, this is the fourth one. Um, I don't know what we're going to call this one yet. He hasn't come up with a name. I kind of let him come up with names for his lures. And uh, the Limeade Wally Knocker, I, I love that one. So that was pretty cool. He came up with that. So I don't know what we're going to call this. Maybe give us some suggestions in the comments about this one. Um, but let's take a closer look at it. Let me move the camera in. Okay, so here's what we got. We got the six and a half inch double D deep diver. And um, then I got a 110 there I did. And then a crotch blank, crock or however you say it. Uh, one of their blanks. I got a ton of them. Uh, so I always like to do a couple different ones just, just to see what they look like on different baits. But as you can see on this one, I was originally going to do orange, right? orange or gold. And um, I thought the stencil would just get lost in there. And um, actually, he was here when I was filming this video. And he was watching me. And we kind of, when I broke, um, after we had seen the purple and the gold on there, um, we both kind of decided we didn't like the orange as much. We liked, the, he wanted to go with the black. So we went with black on there. His helped me design the stencil. He likes it. If he likes it, I like it, of course. Um, 
But yeah, it turned out really good. I think the black really stood out better anyway. So yeah. Oh shoot. That's why I usually don't touch them when they're on there because it takes me a minute to get them all set up. But here's a transparent one with just the gold and the plum. And then here's a close up of the orange. So the orange looks cool. It just kind of gets lost in there. But that's the fun about creating your own stencils and creating your own lures is that you can play around with it and you can do with what you like and see what works and what don't work. And uh, I think the black was definitely a good choice we made on on the double D just because it black really stands out. and It's kind of got that little bit of a crawl look to it. Um so, yeah, he fishes walleye, so he really likes these purples and golds and fluorescent oranges and yellows. So, we're getting ready to do another one. He's coming over tonight, and we're going to do another one for you. Um, I asked him if he wanted to be on camera, and he's like, no, 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 I don't want to be on camera. For one, he fishes tournaments, walleye tournaments, and he don't want nobody to see what he's using. Guys are funny like that, you know, but... I respect his wishes. He just sits back there and watches me paint and watches me record them. Um, and we made an agreement that any stencils we create, since I'm doing them baits and making the stencils, he said, yeah, you can, I can sell the stencils. So the stencil for this one will be linked up on the lurestencils.com website. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are buying stencils. It's pretty cool. Um, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, I try to get them out as fast as I can, but, you know, with work and, and then trying to make YouTube videos and I got so much stuff going on with baits getting ready for an event that, uh, you know, I, I get them out for you because I know you're anxious to get them and try them. But um, if you get some stencils from me and you got any problems, I always put a business card in there. You got my number. You can contact me, email, text, however you want, and we'll work out any problems but once again i really appreciate all you guys i appreciate all my supporters you guys are awesome email me sending me pictures of your work and stuff it's really cool and i hope you enjoying the videos i'm going to keep cranking them out i really enjoy doing them so um that'll be it for this one and i'll see you on the next video and always remember stay crusty my friends <laughs>